Welcome back. This is going to be part two of my Master Grade Zeta Plus A1 review, in which we'll be going over the complex transformation and also give you my final thoughts on this Master Grade. One thing that I forgot to show all you guys in the first part of this review is something that comes with this kit as well, namely these stickers and the dry transfers. The dry transfer decals include a couple of numbers, Zeta Plus uh, logos, and they do look very nice, but I've got a decal set coming, well actually two, they're from Samuel Decal, and I'll be using those instead of the dry transfer decals. As for stickers, we get um, two Anaheim Electronics logos, Caraba Air Force twice, and some warning labels, a number, and just stuff like that. For other stickers that actually go onto the parts, we get the eyes, uh, the two light blue camera stickers, and these two green stickers, they go onto the sides of this shield here, namely there and there. And these orange stickers are supposed to go onto the tips of the wings here, but I didn't bother putting them on seeing as I'm going to paint this kit anyway. So that was just something I forgot in the first part of this review. Okay, so now it's transformation time, and this might take a bit, so bear with me. The first step is to fold up these B fins. Next, we're going to take the shoulders, fold them down like so. Then we're going to pull the cockpit out, not just the hatch, but the entire cockpit. Then push in the head, push in the waist armor parts, like so. Now you can bend this entire upper armor over the head. Next step will be unlocking the legs. then rearranging the legs. This piece has to go over the back skirt. I hope you can see that. It's not that easy. Let's rearrange the arms a bit. Pull this large backpack piece down. like so, all the way down. Next we'll take the shield, swing this part up, and this one has to come out. The top part connects up here. And the bottom should connect under the head. Swing these arms forward like so. Then these wings are going to come over the legs. One thing we can already do right now is fold up the legs. That's what it's supposed to look like. The feet have to be folded up as well. Remove this white piece on the shield. This is where the landing gear will go. Then replace it with this landing gear. Take the white piece from the crotch <laughs> out and replace it with this landing gear right here. Slide it in, like so. Then you will see these little white plastic pieces here on the wings. Those can be removed. And landing gear will be inserted. 
I forgot to swing the cannons up, these skirt armor cannons. Pull this peg out of the rifle and fold the handle in and insert the rifle into this little slot. Hold on, there we go. And after some more adjustments and realigning a lot of parts, this is what the model should look like once it's transformed. All in all, this transformation took about 10 minutes, a little bit more, seeing as it was my first time. You know, if you repeat it several times, it'll go faster, obviously. But it's not an easy transformation, but I bet there's more difficult kits out there, or kits with more difficult transformations, that is. Um, it looks pretty good, I guess, but I'd rather have it in the mobile suit mode. So I most likely won't be um, doing this transformation again. However, you know, it does look pretty good and it feels relatively solid, although there's a lot of moving pieces here that can, you know, get rearranged easily if you just touch them. But generally the transformation is pretty smartly done on this kit. Um, especially seeing as it's still very stable. There's nothing really very loose about this kit right now. Uh, what I especially like is that the head has been completely hidden, seeing as the shield um, goes over the head right here and the head slides in. So I think that's a nice touch. So that pretty much does it for my review of the Master Grade Zeta Plus A1. I guess now I'll just go over my final thoughts. First, the good stuff, and there's mainly only positive things to say. Um, for the fact that this kit was released in 2001, it holds up really well with today's Master Grades. I mean, it is very impressive. Uh, not all of the kits that were released 10 years ago were of this high quality. The internal frame, although it's not a full internal frame, is very sturdy, uh, which is not very typical for kits who have more or less complex transformations so that's definitely a plus with this guy he is going to hold most of his poses really well and I think everyone's gonna look forward to that the overall proportions look very nice I, I really like the look of this and usually I'm more of a Xeon MS fan so I like bulky kits and I, I generally don't take too much interest in lead Gundams or um, designs such as these, but this one really looks cool, especially the colors, although they're not everyone's cup of tea, obviously. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the good stuff. I mean, it's such a cheap kit, 2,400 yen on most online stores. That's really, really cheap for something like this. It's a big kit. Uh, the parts count isn't too high, but um, yeah, it's very good. So... I guess now I can mention some of the things that I dislike. Uh, what you saw in the main review when the legs uh, were unlocked here due to this part, that tends to happen quite a few times when you rearrange the legs in certain ways and when that part unlocks, you know, they just come loose as they would during the transformation. But, you know, that can get annoying sometimes, but you just have to lock them again in place and make sure to hold on to that part while you're posing him. That's one negative thing. Um, the other one would be the shallowness of these panel lines. If you're not going to paint this kit, well, actually you're also going to have problems because if you're going to panel line your kit, then I'm pretty sure that you're going to have problems with the panel lines too. They're so shallow that I think even a Gundam marker won't really do a very good job. And if you're one of those people who clean up the panel lines after you've lined them with Gundam markers, you know, with a Q-tip or something. I can imagine due to the fact that they're so shallow, the Q-tip will pick up most of the Gundam marker in the panel line as well. So I'll have to do a lot of rescribing on all the panel lines here and there, and that's kind of annoying. The second um, thing I dislike, well, yeah, it's the beam rifle. The design is pretty cool actually, 
but it's just the fat seam and having to deal with that later on that's kind of a pain in the butt but I mean for 10 years ago I guess that wasn't so bad so I'm not going to complain too much about that um, yeah that's pretty much it there's mostly only positive things I can say about this kit it's really nice cheap affordable and if you've always wanted a Zeta style kit with a different twist namely the colors and the test type prototype design this should be on your list of kits you'll want to buy and I mean I got it with EMS shipping because I really wanted something to work on right now so it cost me a bit more but you know the kit itself is only around 2400 yen on most sites so if you want it get it uh, it's definitely worth it and it's definitely a nice or refreshing, uh, refreshingly different kit from all the newer Master Grades, which I've gotten kind of bored with, to be honest. So that pretty much does it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so pretty soon I'm going to upload a first whip on this guy and explain to you what I'm going to do with him. So take care. Until then.